All right, it's Mr. G, Memorial High School, and uh, what we're doing is a small engine project. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, we take off the shroud, and uh, there's kind of an order to the whole thing. Next thing you do is take off the uh, magneto, then you, t then you take off the flywheel, and you're going to need some special tools for that. Uh, it's kind of a fun project because we already ran it yesterday, but basically we do these drawings first. This is one of my students drawings, so um, let's see. First thing we do is the cross section. So this is all the parts. So you have your valves, your spark plug, the head, there's the gasket, here's labeled as the head, the rings on the piston, the connecting rod, the crankshaft, the timing gear, uh, the cam lobe, the camshaft, the tappets, and this is the block. And so that's how it works. Uh, then you have, and you can see that displayed right here. So basically this drawing is this, but in a cross section. Okay. And then the next thing we're doing is uh, the four stroke process, and that's right here. So that's uh, intake, air, and fuel, right? Compression, that's when the piston comes, comes up and the valves are closed. In between is the spark. The third stroke down is, the, is combustion and the valves are still closed. That's the power stroke, it makes it go around. And then the fourth stroke is you have to get rid of the air and fuel that you burned and that's the exhaust stroke. Okay, and then the last drawing is the diagnostics, um, which is over here. So, once again, there's one of my students, exa an example of a student drawing. And what we have here is three things that make an engine run. You have air, fuel, and spark. And if those are, if you have all those and it still doesn't work, then you have a possible leak of compression. It can leak from the gasket. It can leak from the rings, it can leak from the valve, and it can leak from the spark plug uh, threads. So those are the possibilities, and the small engines are a great way to learn about uh, how engines work because the only difference between a small engine and let's say like a Ferrari is, the, is two things, the spaces in between and the materials. So um, otherwise, fundamentally, it's the same. Four stroke process. All right, I'm Mr. G. This is Memorial High School, and we're doing small engines. See you later.